Ciao everybody, Matteo Guricelli here. Welcome back to Casa Guricelli. All right, this is the pasta time, baby, with the number one pasta, Barilla. Now we're gonna be cooking something very, very special, which a lot of people love, but we're gonna cook the real thing, the real Italian way. All right, as you can see in front of me, we have eggs, we have uh, cheese, and of course we have guanciale. I will explain to you what guanciale is in a very bit, okay? Basically, it's just like bacon. But not. My dad will explain. Yeah, so you can hear him now. He'll explain later. And then we have uh, number cinco spaghetti. Number five spaghetti from Barilla. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take it step by step and show you guys on how to do this. But I need help because he's the best. I'm just the home cook. He's the real chef. So Papa, please enter frame. Okay. okay. Ciao, Papa. Ciao. Okay. This is my father. First of all, bacon. He's American, he's not Italian. Okay. Guanciale is the chick of the pig. It's the chick and of the pig. from Italy. He's from Italy. Not bacon, don't confuse. It's not bacon. Okay. All right, Papa, so please educate the world on how we do the Casa Guidicelli okay. carbonara. So yeah, I love the chest hair popping out. I don't have it yet. Let's see if I grow up. I might have it soon. Okay, first. Okay. Mamma mia, all this olive oil. This, ladies and gents, is very, very fatty. Look at that. It's fat. It's all fat. And okay. the pepper on the crust is pepper yeah. and salt. All right, guys, this is different from the normal uh, carbonara you guys usually see when we cook in homes. The shortcut way is usually with cream, no? But where, do you know where is the original carbonara? Where? It's from the original. Rome. Rome, yes, I knew that. Oh. I'm just <laughs> testing you. Okay. Okay. So this so, is the original carbonara we're doing with real, with real eggs. Okay. So the, the 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 proportion is one yolk per person. One yolk per person. So we are how many? We got five yolks. So we are cooking. Uh, five people. Yeah, five people. Five hundred grams. So that's one whole. Uh, hundred grams per person is uh, abundant. Uh, abundant. Yeah. yeah. I, in my previous episode, I was saying 80 grams per person, but yeah, that's today it's a family lunch and we have a lot of hungry people yeah. like my director, my yeah. staff and everybody else. My hander, they're all very hungry, so we're going to make 100 grams per person yeah. with, of course, barilla. Let us not insult the Italian with the bacon. It is guanciale from the cheek of the baboy. Yeah. The Italian baboy. The Italian baboy. Say baboy. 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 Look there. Say. Baboy. Baboy. You remember the juice that is coming there, we will use it for the pasta. Okay. The oil there is the best. So we don't waste anything. Don't waste Here in Italy, in Italia, we want to use all the ingredients very, very carefully and all the juices, all the aromas, all the flavors all together for the pasta. Yes, Me, I like my guanciale toasted, guys. Like the fat, like I'm toasted. Yeah, ah, good. dude. It's a killer. Say it. Killer. It's a killer. Let's let the baboy rest. Pops, what do we do? Do we cook the pasta? Yeah, do you put salt? Not yet, because I will now. The pasta water is salt. boiling, so we get pinches of salt. I get hands by salt. That's One, two, I think that is enough. Oh, look at that smell of the guachale, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look, it's cooking really nice and well. Imagine if we made this into tapa. Tapa and rice. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can put the pasta in and the rice. Mettiamo la pasta! The whole pack of barilla. It's 500 grams. Gotta respect the pasta, no? Yeah. The barilla pasta was my grandma, my mom cooking it. Everybody will cook barilla in Italy. Yeah. So we love using so, barilla. Of course. Okay, let's set that guanciale cheek rest. The, the eggs. We put some of the guanciale here okay. with the oil, with some of the oil. We get the pasta, we put it there, and then we mix it. Perfetto, okay. fettuccine. If, if it's a little bit dry, either we can use the oil. Pasta water. There, or the pasta water, obviously. Yeah. So again, by they say um, pasta, the spaghetti here in Barilla does not need oil because we use, they use durum wheat. So it's the best wheat, doesn't stick together. It's the highest quality wheat in the market. Get in my tummy, baby. Okay. So guys, again, coming back, the carbonara usually, what people usually know of, it's with cream. That's the normal carbonara, cream and bacon. It's not normal, it's American. Okay, carbonara. it's American, sorry. This is raw eggs, ladies and gents. This is real raw, uncooked eggs yeah. with your guanciale. Again, ladies and gents, what is best is to use um, cheese that is freshly grated. 
I remember when I went to Italy with Tita Margarita Forest, we went to where the Romagna, Romagna where yeah. They, they, they do the, the Parmigiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. And it's so good to taste it fresh from the plant. I promise you. Again, Italian Italian cooking is very basic with really um, you really need the good ingredients. So the base talaga is the pasta. You know, you want the best pasta. So I think Barilla gives that. Hmm. Good, no? Perfetto. Okay. More pasta, pasta asciutta. And more guanciale. All right, guys, we got your carbonara right here. Wow, this is more than, this is for my director, Pee Wee. Oh, bring it down there. All right, there you have it, guys. Our uh, carbonara, with of course the best pasta in the world, Barilla, and um, alla casa Guricelli. Mm. Very nice. I'm gonna call my brother. Oh, can you try? Please try, please try. All right, so no more recipes with me and Barilla. Visit Facebook page of Barilla, Barilla Philippines. And <clears throat> enjoy. Bon appetito, everybody.